I want to lift up your right hands and say with me, everyone, let's say this together. Lift up your right hands and say with me. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. And you need to say it louder. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. He make me to lie down. He me to lie in down. Green pastures. In green pastures. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. Beside the still waters. Beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. In the path of righteousness. In the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. For his name's sake. Yea. Yea. Though I walk through Though I walk the valley through, of the shadow of the death, of the shadow of I, death. Will fear no evil, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. Thou art thy rod and thy staff, and thy staff they, comfort they comfort me. Thou preparest, thou preparest a table before, me, table before in me in the presence, in the presence of, my of my enemy. Thou anointest thou anointed my head with oil. Thou, thou anointest my head with oil. Thou anointest my head with oil. Thou anointest my head with oil. My, head with oil. my cup, my cup. Run, it run it over. My cup, my cup. Run, it over. run it over. My finance, run, run, it, over. run it over. My project, run, run, it, over. run it over. My career, my career. Run, it over. run it over. My progress, my progress. Run it over. Run it over. My joy, my joy. Run it over. Run it over. My cup, my cup. Run it over. Run it over. My cup, my cup. Run it over. Run it over. My cup, my cup. Run it over. Run it over. Surely, surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall follow me all the days of, all my, the life. Days of my life. Surely, surely goodness, goodness and mercy, and mercy they, follow me they follow me into every meeting, into every, meeting, into every, appointment, into every appointment, on every tree, on every, on every, on every occasion. On every occasion. Goodness, and mercy, goodness and mercy they follow me, they follow, me. They follow my name, they follow my name, they follow my children, they follow my children, they follow my grandchildren. They follow my they follow my brand. They follow my brand. They follow my document. They follow my document. They follow my proposal. They follow my proposal. In the name of the, Lord, the, name Jesus. Of the Lord Jesus. All right. Someone say, surely, surely, goodness, goodness, and mercy, and mercy. They follow me. They follow me. Surely, surely, goodness, goodness, and mercy, and mercy. They follow me. They follow me. Every day of this month. Every day of this month. Every day of this year. Every day of this year. Goodness, goodness, and mercy, and mercy. They follow me. They follow me. Into every appointment. Into every appointment. Goodness, goodness, and mercy, and mercy. Follow me. Follow me. Anywhere my name is mentioned. Anywhere my name is goodness. mentioned. Goodness and mercy. and mercy, follow me, follow me. All the days, all of, the my days of my life, all the days, all of the my days life. of my life, all the days, all of, the my days of my life, all the days of my life. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Surely, goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. For I am the dwelling house of the Lord forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Do you receive it? Yes. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. Someone say grace. Yes. Somebody say grace. Yes. Somebody say grace. Yes. Say this is my story. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. All right, James chapter 5, verse 17. So men, October, th October 5th, your 4th, October 4th is a Friday. After work, let's plan to come. We're going to have probably a thousand married men there. And um, just learning for men in oil and gas, in manufacturing, you know, in different areas, you know, in consulting, in IT. Somewhere, what industry are you in? tech in tech uh, what industry are you in what shipping shipping transportation aha manufacturing and coaching manufacturing and coach. you must make sure you're there or i'm going to look out for you i thought about it just three days ago hallelujah praise god Did you, have you been around or you traveled into from the east you've been in anambra okay praise god hallelujah all right so let's go james chapter 5 verse 17 let's read from king james first hallelujah so this morning we're talking about becoming a person of prayer becoming a person of prayer becoming a person of prayer the bible says this it says Elias. so let me explain what is this Elias? people wonder who is Elias? so the old testament of the bible was originally documented in hebrew and aramaic 
the New Testament was documented in Greek. They were all translated into English eventually. So when they were, so in the Old Testament, the Hebrew of Elias is called Elijah. The Greek version of Elijah is what? Elias. So it's talking about the person Elijah. And in case you doubt, if you think that that's not true, when you read the story, you will know that that story collaborates with a person called Elijah. The Bible says Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. And so, I love this. I love the Bible. You know, the Old Testament is looking at the Old Testament. Praise God. Let me digress for three minutes. When you read the New Testament, if you notice very well, when the New Testament talks about the saints of the Old Testament, it talks about their good works and not about their sins so when you read about solomon the bible says that solomon was not no one was as soon as i read in glory bible speaks about jacob speaks about all those people look at bible speaks about abraham as the father of faith he never talks about their doubting moments the reason why is that in the old testament people's sins was retained when they sinned, their sin was remembered but in the New Testament, when Jesus Christ died, there was a covenant. It says, their sin and iniquity, I will remember what? No more. So, in the New Testament, when God talks about the Old Testament sin, He doesn't talk about their sin, He talks about their righteousness. So amazing. Just a New Testament way of thinking. Glory to God. That's a great place to clap. Someone say hallelujah. So much so that when you read Elijah's story, you don't see all the other things that Elijah ran away, he was afraid, he got depressed. You don't see that story. The only summary of Elijah's life, this is a summary, this is the New Testament summary of Elijah. God is trying to tell about Elijah and all God sees about Elijah. And this is very powerful. God says, it. it says, and Elijah was a man like us, subject to many passions. Elijah was tired like us, he was hungry, he was tempted, he was frustrated, he would be in traffic. The Bible says, and this is a summary of Elijah's life and he prayed. Just one line. He says, and Elijah, and he prayed. God! Some people, you need to ask yourself, when God wants to summarize your life, what will be the summary? And he chose money. And she was an Instagram buddy. The Bible says that just one thing. It says, and Elijah was a man so it's like passion as we are. And the summary of his whole entire life was that, and he what? And he prayed. That means heaven knew Elijah's prayer. Gosh. Gosh. It's one thing for men to think you pray. It's another thing for heaven to recognize that this person is a man of prayer. He says, and he prayed. What a testimony. What a testimony. What a test. That's the kind of testimony I want. That when you pass a place, they'll say, and he prayed. He was known for his prayer life. Why was the Holy Ghost emphasizing this? Because the Holy Ghost, this is what he wants from us. He wants us to pick this as a model. No, no, no. Don't be, don't be Rita the slave queen. No, sir. No, ma. Rita the prayer warrior. Don't say, ah, no, 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 no. I'm Johnson the foodie. No, sir. Johnson the prayer warrior. Don't say, oh no, I'm Chanel, the, the, the Instagram buddy. No, Chanel, the prayer warrior. This is what it should be like. The Bible says, and he prayed. My God. And he prayed. And he prayed that it may not rain. And it rained not on earth, but the space of three years and six months. I, I wish that I wish that if I ask your husband about you, those of you that are married, what your husband would say that ah, my wife can pray. I wish that wives can say about their husband, oh my God, my husband can pray. It's a good testimony. I, I wish that your children can say, oh wow, daddy is prayerful. I wish that your sons and daughters can speak about you and say you are prayerful. It's something you need to to need to you need to pursue. I'm talking about becoming a person of prayer. Becoming a person of prayer. The person becoming a person of prayer. Why is it important to become a person of prayer? And how do you become a person of prayer? Number one, number one, see, a man of prayer has unlimited resources. Because he has access to spiritual resources. Why other people are limited by their network, by their amount in their banks, 
by the expansion of the limit of scientific invention when it comes to medicine a man of prayer is not limited by all of these things a man of prayer is unlimited because he has connection to heaven so if man can help a man of prayer a man of prayer knows where to go because he has connection that is beyond human the Bible says that that was the case that was the case for this man called Elijah he says and he prayed Why do you want to become a man of prayer? The reason why you want to become a man of prayer is this. When your natural resources are exhausted. And what do I mean by that? That means that you're meant to raise an amount of money to do a deal. And all the money you have and all the money you can get from friends, family and banks is not able to pull it in. A man of prayer can tap into supernatural resources to pull the fund that he has, that he needs. What do you mean by is limited? The doctor look at you and say, sorry, there's nothing we can do. You can never have a child. A man of prayer knows that my help is not limited to what the doctor said. That I have resources beyond what the doctor said. That's what it means to have unlimited resources. What does it mean to be a man that has unlimited resources? You enter an office and they tell you clearly that, listen to me, if you don't have connection with the GMD, if you don't have connection with the MDA, there's nothing can get things done here. And when they told you, put your hands in your token and smile. And they say, who do you know? You say, I know someone bigger than them. Because why they are talking about God Father, you know the God the Father. A man of prayer understands that. So when people are shaky up and down, a man of prayer does not shake because he knows that I have, I can contact the hand that controls the world. So one of the things that prayer does to you is that a man of prayer has spiritual resources, is unlimited in resources. The second thing, and someone says, how, you know, someone says, what does prayer do for me also? Prayer also provides you cover. Let me tell you something, prayer is so powerful. A man of prayer, through his prayer, provides cover that covers those connected to him. Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1 verse 8. Are you there? Job chapter 1 verse 8. A man of prayer, through your prayer, you will provide a cover that extends to people. Let's see what the Bible says. I want to explain what it, what it means. And the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is no one like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and ensured evil. Verse 9. And God and Satan answered the Lord and said, Do you think that Job fears God for nothing? Verse 10. As thou watch this now, as thou not made an edge about what? About what? Him. Did he stop there? So remember, it's Job that did something, but what Job's spiritual transaction covered not just himself. It covered his family. He says, I've not, not made an edge about him, about his, about his house. His house meaning his household. About all that he had on every side. And has blessed the works of his hand. And his substance is increased. Give me the, give me the message translation. And this is what prayer does. The message translation, please. And Satan retorted. Do you think Job does all of this out of sheer goodness of his heart? Why, has, why, why no one ever has been so good? You pamper him like a pet. You make sure, watch what it says. It says you pamper him like a pet. You make sure nothing bad ever happens to him or what? His family is not doing anything though. They are eating of the righteousness of Job. This is what your prayer does. When you see a man of prayer, even the children that come out of them have cover. And some of you are here. The reason why your life has gone so well is because your mother could pray. Some of you are here. You will have lost your way if not your father that could pray. Some of you are here. It was your sister that stood in the gap. You will have been gone. Why is it good to be a man of prayer? Because through your prayer, you can extend cover. You work in an office. They don't know that it's because of you. The office is strong. The MD think it's a strategy, but the reason why is that you are there, just like Joseph, it was not Potiphar, it was Joseph that was prospering the place because there's someone that can call on the name of Jehovah. Praise God. Give me, give, give me the, give me the, give me the small number. 
Says like you can come. Praise God. When you have a small prayer life, this is what it is. Probably can cover you. It can't even cover you where the heat and rain of life will touch you. But this is you with your small prayer life, and you are married. You see, no one that Satan is attacking people in your family because your prayer cannot cover anybody. If you try to cover them, you are naked. If you try to cover yourself, they are naked. You need what a bigger prayer life. Your prayer is a cover. It covers you. Does it cover your business? It covers you. Does it cover your children? This is what your prayer does. This is why you must pray. Because your prayer is a cover. So you grow your prayer life. As you grow your prayer life, what happens to you? Then we can cover. But now we've covered myself and my darling. What about our children? What about our investment? All of a sudden, we have children. We're all of a sudden, let me get some people to come. You come, 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 come. Come, yeah. All of a sudden, we're, we're, we're three. We have just one child now. We have one child now. Look what happened. Now it can't cover again. And God is saying that if you want to cover, expand your prayer life. If you want to cover, expand your prayer life. If you want to cover, expand your prayer life. If you want to cover, expand your... You know what? I, I expand my prayer life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a jumbo prayer life. This is a jumbo prayer life. And, and, and they wonder... Why, why are your children so well? Because someone is praying. There's someone that's raising. Listen to me. Only one person is holding the umbrella. They're not holding the umbrella. It's only one person because there's someone that's raising the cover for the family. The question is, is, are you that person raising the cover for the family? Praise God. I said, praise God. I said, praise God. Any small thing, your sister had a miscarriage. Why are you there? You say, hey, in my family, things are so Why are you there? You should use your prayer. And that's why we need to raise men that are priests, not men that are just businessmen. Men that are priests. Men that can, that can raise prayer cover. Men that can raise prayer cover. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Because your prayer is a cover. Your prayer is a cover. Well, you see, there's a practical story in this church. There's a man, I met him, he was about 42 when I met him. He said, I said, how are you? He said, I'm fine. I said, what's the problem? He said, my life scattered two years ago. Ah, how life scattered? He said, everything I've been going with since I was born. He said, but two years ago, I lost my job. He said, since that time till now, nothing has worked again. I'm the kind of person that will spend, have money, do this, do that. I said, what do you think happened? He said, I know what happened. He said, my mother was a prayer warrior. He said, I was told that when they were giving birth to me, my mother was speaking in tongues. He said, my mother, he said, in limbo, posh, that's how I came. He said, my mother gave birth to me speaking in tongues. He said, my mother died two years ago. Two and a half years ago. He said, I didn't know that it was a prayer that was working for me. I thought I was lucky. He said, six months after she died, tragedy struck. It was one evil upon another evil upon that evil. I felt bad for him. But you know what I felt bad for? I felt worse for his children. Because at least prayer covered him up to 42. His children are naked from bed. Join fasting and praying. Um, I have peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You know, so when we fast, can, can we have like Coke and Fanta? You know, so, you know, because if I don't have sugar in the morning at work at 8 a.m., I start feeling dizzy. <laughs> Listen to me. If you if you don't pray, it's not because you can't pray. You have not found what will make you pray. Once you find what will make you pray, you will be turned into a prayer warrior. <laughs> glory to God. I said, glory to God. Now we are fasting as a church. Either you're watching online or you're here. It's time for you to get inside. And even if you're not doing it for yourself, extend your prayer cover. You're going to have children for your husband, for your wife, for everybody. Extend your prayer cover. Look at the story. Satan said nothing can come next Job's children. Not because the children were good, because of their father Job, because their father had a burning altar. 
Job will offer sacrifices. Their father had a body on top. I was talking to one person. He said, Pastor, you know why I turned out like this? It was not my parents. It was my pastor. It was my parents' pastor. He said, when I was a child, he said, my, my, my parents would take me to the pastor and say, this child is a rascal. This child is an area boy. And the pastor looked at the father and said, this child, this child will become a pastor. He said, why do you say so? He said, because I'm praying for him. He said, my prayer will restore him no matter where he goes. He said, I look back. Someone was praying for me. Someone was praying for me. A lot of you will have missed it in life if not that someone prayed for you. But now that you're grown, you must carry your own prayer burden. You know, you just wake up with Father and say, uh, ta, 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 ta. always looking at Father with your assistant. Pray. Pray as if you didn't walk. Walk as if you didn't pray. That's the balance. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. What does prayer do for us? So what does prayer do? So you see prayer provides a cover. The other thing prayer does as we close is this. As we close, the other thing prayer does, which is very powerful, is that sometimes there is a prophetic word. And sometimes, you know, I've, I've met a lot of frustrated Christians. And they will say things. Like, in fact, there was one on social media recently that said, I think it was referring to Pastor Nathaniel. And the person said that, Pastor Nat, Pastor Nat, let me just tell you, if I don't get buried in, de in December, I will come and carry your trumpet and break it. I saw it on social media and when I saw it, I laughed. I said, because this person understands. And the reason why he said so is that he said there was a word that was given and it, that, that word belonged to her. Listen to me. No matter who gives the word, it's your responsibility to make sure the prophecy happens. Because, question, does all prophecy happen? No. Not all prophecy happens. So, if God said something to me, how do I ensure that what God said becomes reality? It's a work to pray it into manifestation. True prayer. See, prayer is the vehicle that turns prophecy into reality. Prayer is a vehicle that turns prophecy into reality. You say, um, Lord, say that this is our year of unstoppable multiplication. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, because I know you are just faithful. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, December will come. You see, they say, Ah, because it doesn't stop that way. The way prophecy is designed, prophecy is designed to be enforced by prayer. Let me show you two scriptures Daniel chapter 9, Daniel chapter 9, verse 1. The Bible says, In the first year of Adairus, the son of Asherus, the, the, the seed of Meds, which was king over the realms of the Chaldeans, verse 2. In the first year of his reign, Daniel understood by books, by prophetic books. The number, he understood, what did he understand? He understood the number of years. Wherefore, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah that he would accomplish 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. It was written there that because the, the Jews worship idols, for 70 years they will suffer. The problem was that, it was this, 70 years had now come, they were still suffering. Daniel now took it up. Look what did Daniel do. Daniel now said, well, what will be will be if something has come and so maybe that's what God wants what did Daniel do verse 3 verse 3 he said I set my face to seek he said I set my face unto the Lord to seek by prayer supplications with fasting sacros and ashes Daniel said Daniel said this is what the book says 70 years why are we still here after 70 years he said, no, 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 I heard God about this marriage. I heard God about this marriage. I heard God about this marriage. Then how come my husband is behaving like an idiot? I heard God about this marriage. How come my husband is chasing all these girls with small, small scared? I heard God about this marriage. How can it be said he's not interested? God did not say we're going to break up after three years. It is a key, Sarah, Sarah. What will be, will be. What will be, will be. What will be, will be. He didn't say that. My God. Whatever you tolerate will remain. That's it. 
God, September has come. I've not seen man. I've not seen job. I've not seen approval. Just, you know, you are, you are the clay. I'm the clay. You are the clay master. Just claim me anyhow. Just claim me now. That's what you say. He has already told you what he wants to do. He said, this year is your job, but unstoppable multiplication. What do you do? You take that word and use it for warfare. You take that word and use it for warfare. You go into prayer. You say, what? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You begin, let everything begin to align with the word of God. Let everything begin to what? Align with the word of God. Let everything begin to what? Align with the word of God. It has no choice than to align. All of a sudden, January was high in profit. February was this. Then March. Then now, profit is gone. And I say, hey, I'm finished. No, no, no. You say, listen, listen. The word of God is not dependent on inflation. The word of God, when God gave me word, he was not thinking of APC and PDP. Let my business align with the word of God. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. See what the Bible says here. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. He says this charge. He said this is, he said Timothy, I'm giving you this instruction. Strong instruction. I commit unto you this charge. Son Timothy, according to the prophecy which went before you, that by them, you do what? By them, by them, mightest war, a good warfare. He said, take the prophecy and use it to fight. Let me give an example. Two examples. Have you bought a land before? I hope you know there's a difference between buying a land and having documents and owning a land. No, is it different or is it the same? Is it different or the same? So when you buy a land, you know, when you buy a land, once you buy a land, you have documents. What's the next thing? Once you buy a land, what's the next thing? You take what? You take possession. Because there's a difference between buying and taking possession. Buying the land is prophecy. Taking possession is fulfillment. So you, you go to your land. You now see these boys that have been in the land. They've been there for 10 years, 5 years. These boys, they're smoking weed. People have shanties on the land. And they say, um, you now say, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I just came to give you the, the ruling that I bought the land. Would they ask for paper? No. They say, how can you buy our land? We have been here. Who sold it to you? We say, we didn't sell land to you. They forget that they are occupants, not owners. What do you do? You don't bring documents. You take documents to police station. Then look for more posts with red eye. With Koboko and AK-47. Once they enter, they, you know those more posts, they, you know, once they enter, they will ever use their car to scatter the gates. Once they scatter the gate, you just see them, they will just all bump out of there. Pa, 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 pa. Everybody will run. The reason why is that enforcement agents have come. I'm not saying you didn't buy the land, but you need someone to enforce it. I'm not saying you didn't get the prophecy, but you need prayer to enforce it. Prayer is your enforcement agency. Are you here? Are you here? That's why this, what we're praying, this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, my God, is enforcement. This year is not going to turn out like they thought it would turn out. Hallelujah. This year, it will turn out as we prayed for. This year will turn out as we prayed for. This year will turn out as we prayed for. I can't hear you. This year will turn out as we prayed for. So if the year was going and it's going dun, 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 and it's going inflation, depression, you will use prayer and say, mm, 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 mm. you ragapoko salataya. Hey, hey, turn bass. Hey, hey, business that's going that way. Start coming this way. Bah, 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 bah. Move to profit. Move to profit. Bah, bah. Move to profit. Why? Why are you using prayer to correct it? Are you here? Because if we just look at it, you'll be going, oh, relationship collapse, business collapse, everything collapse, everything collapse. No, sir. We are going to use our prayer to restructure things. That's why if you don't join next level prayers, I feel bad for you. Because how can you fast without joining prayers? Tomorrow morning, 6 30 a.m., set your alarm. Tell your friends, home and abroad, join. Because we're setting the place on fire. The, the question, we're taking prophecy to fight. How do you take prophecy to fight? The Lord said, there shall not be barren in the land. But the doctor says, you can't have a child. 
you were going to pray like Anna. You were going to pray like Anna. You would tell the Lord, this is, you would tell your this is what the Lord has said. The Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. What does that mean? What God says, we receive it. Oh, praise God. I said, 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 praise God. To take the prophetic word in prayer. And this is why you need to pray. Someone say, I'm tired of prayer. I'm really tired of everything. Hey, yeah. I'm sure you have something else you worship, right? You know why? You know why? When you were going to go get admission, you wrote jam for five years. You were not tired. But prayer, you're tired. You know why you're not tired of jam? There was no other way. Those that had money to go abroad, they went abroad. But you, you looked right to there's no other way. You face jam. You faced it until you were jammed. You must pray until you are prayed. He said, Lord, you don't understand. I have no other God. There's no other name. Can I go and look for Shongo somewhere? Where, where, where do I go to? Where do I run to? You are the only God of the universe. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the covenant keeping God, the God of the apostles, the God of the prophets of old, the God of Moses, of Elijah, of Nahum, of the prophets of old. You've done it before, you will do it again, mighty Father. When you begin to pray like that, your hair will fling up. That, that's, when, that's when some songs will start coming up. You know, you know some songs, eh? They, they come up in your native language. Praise God. Some songs are, you know, some songs are good in English, but some have to come in your native language. Ah. Hallelujah. Sorry, those of you that know my language, would you forgive me? Ah. By the time you begin to sing like that, you, you, <laughs> it, 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 before you know it, <laughs> shoes will come off. <laughs> Cause shoe will come off. Before you know it, <laughs> we, 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 are not, we are not here for t-shirts and earrings. The week you remove the rig, they say, what is happening? They say, it's prayer fire. You say, it's prayer fire. You are not talking much for sweat is all over. Sweat is all over. The reason why is that the anointing has taken over. Do you know how you know how to pray? You know, someone says, I want to learn how to pray. Prayer, the spirit of prayer comes to those that desire it. It's a strong desire that pulls it to you. Someone says, why am I not prayer for you? don't have a strong desire yet. You, you think your prayer life is okay. When you have a strong desire, you will attract the spirit of prayer. Do you read about, oh wow. Let us pray. Stand on your feet. Glory to God. Stand on your feet. Let's pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are there things to enforce right now? Do you have things to enforce? You have some time to pray. Take three minutes and pray for yourself. Glory to God. Go ahead and pray. Everybody go ahead and pray. Lift up your voices and pray. Go ahead and pray. Take it higher, take it higher. Take it higher. Go ahead. 
ahead and pray. Go 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 ahead and all of you that are couples, if your wife is in your home, like, grab your hands. You'll pray over your children. My children will walk in righteousness. You will set to their future with prayer. You declare over your husband's business. You declare over your wife's business. You declare over your health. In old age, you will not be sickly. You will pray for your parents. You will pray for your grandchildren. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and declare. 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 Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Some two scriptures to you. I will close. First Kings chapter 8, verse 56. First Kings chapter 8, verse 56. Let's read one to go. Blessed be the Lord that has given the rest unto my God. The rest of this year rests. In business, rest. In my finances, rest. Like he said, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest unto his people. Are you his people? Yes, sir. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. See the next line. According to all that you have promised, neither has one failed, not one word of all his good promises. You will declare, This year there's no carryover. Everything God said will manifest. Everything God said will manifest. Everything God said will show up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say no carry over. No carry over. Say manifestations. Say manifestations. Fulfillment of prophecy. Go ahead and declare everybody. level this week we said there was a very powerful statement who knows the statement who knows the statement every time the need arises it was a prophetic word and this is the word I'm sending it with the word for you for you every time the need arises there will be no stories just resources Anytime the read arises, 
for scholarship, yes. to pay for admission, yes. to purchase goods, yes. to buy property, yes. to pay for immigration. Yes. There will be no stories, Amen. just resources. Amen. Anytime the need arises, there will be no stories, Amen. just resources. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalm 37 verse 19. That's the last scripture. Psalm 37 verse 19. Someone says, every time the need arises, anytime the need arises, there will be no stories. You'll not be saying, hey, can I come next week? Will you come back next tomorrow? Will you come back this? Hey, I'm working something. I'm working for somebody. There will be no stories. All that there will be is resources. 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 Hey, Yakataya. Some of you are paying school fees. When it's time to pay school fees, there will be no stories. Resources. When it's time to buy the house, no stories. Resources. When it's time to rent the house, buy the car, pay for your marriage, pay for your migration. Pay for your children. Yes, there will be no stories, no stories. just resources. resources in the name of Jesus. Amen. See what the Bible says here. Can, can we read this together? Let's read one to go. They shall not be ashamed in the evil days. And in the day of famine, that's it. This is my story, oh. In the day of famine, they shall what? satisfied glory to God glory to God father we thank you in Jesus mighty name Amen. did you receive it today did you receive it today so what do you do you'll get back to this week next week as a fact we're coming back to church on Wednesday Wednesday is a big conference for us Wednesday Thursday Friday we're joining prayer we're praying and releasing the power of God together hallelujah we're enforcing what prophecy God bless you can have your sins Praise God. The force of reduction will not work in your life. Whatever reduces people, it will not work in your life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's go ahead and receive. Okay, hold on. I want to pray for those that have not given their hearts to Christ. First of all, if you're here, you've not given your heart to Christ, you don't even have to stand up. All you have to do, all eyes closed, please. Let's respect this moment. If you want to give your heart to Christ, just raise your prayer right hand above your head. I would love to lead you to Christ. Thank you. God bless you. Someone says, how can I not do that? The Lord will be touching your heart and say, you need to be part of this. You know you're far from God. You know you're not close to Jesus. You know you're not born again. You know that you've gone away from the Lord. Raise up your right hands today. Let me lead you into this conversation, into this decision with Christ. Just the right hand above you. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Just raise up your right hands. I'm going to pray right now. Are you ready? Okay, any other person doing this right now before we pray? Just raise up your right hand above your head. Say this prayer with me quickly. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for today. I believe the message I've heard that you love me. I receive into my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Come in and come and stay, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If you said that prayer, the ushers will give you a card. We want to encourage you in your newfound faith. In Jesus' name.